Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today we're going to be making another BB gun. This one is going to be made using a dollar store cap gun, and this is probably one of the most powerful BB guns I've made, and I estimate it fires around 200 to 300 feet per second. So, um, let's get started how to make this. The only materials you're going to need for this is your 8-shot cap gun, a package of the caps obviously, airsoft BBs, um, some tissue paper or cotton swabs or whatever, and a knife or pliers potentially. Okay, so the first step's kind of dependent on your BB gun, but what you're going to want to do, all BB guns will have some protective cover around the top to prevent dangerous stuff, whatever. So, as you can see, mine's the orange one, and I already loosened mine, so I can just take mine off. It's as simple as that. As you can see, it's just an orange cover. Simply discard that, obviously. And now mine, if I open it up and show you guys, it's a straight tube. Some may have, like, a blocking thing in there to for another safety measure. So simply just take a drill, screwdriver, whatever, drill it out so it looks just like this. And that's basically the start of it. Now I'll show you kind of a bit more. So the second step is obviously to take it apart. So take apart the cylinder. And now to load this, you're going to want to put your caps on the side with the caps, obviously. So just like a regular cap gun, obviously. And then flip it over. And the neat thing about these is that the 6 mm BBs fit nicely right in there. And some will fit nicely like this, so that when you tip it over, it won't fall out. Oh, so see, that one wasn't a good fit. So there's a tight-fitting one. But if it's not tight-fitting, what you can do is take some of this Kleenex, cut a very little square, or rip it as I just did, place it on top of the hole, and then push your BB in over top of it, just like that. I'll fill the entire cylinder and show you guys. There's a fully loaded cylinder with, as you can see, all black BBs on one side. I only had to use cotton for one. And on the other side, as you can see, none of them fall out. We have our eight ring caps. Then obviously load the gun by putting it on the loader and closing it up. And you're ready to fire. Let's do some testing. Here's the shooting test. I'll shoot the things off the top first and go for the bullseye. Okay, now I'll shoot a few at the bullseye. And there's all the shots, and if I go in on my bullseye here, considering what it is, that's not bad. It went through the paper easily, and actually did quite a bit of damage on the boxes. Made a hole in the box too. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.